Hey guys, you're welcome to the channel. So happy to meet you guys again and hope you are doing well. This is Baba's Kitchen. In this video, I'm coming to share with you a choco banana pop pop, okay? So please don't go anywhere. Let's do this together. A very fast video. You are going to love it. So let's get started. Into my blender, I added my two ripe bananas. I added a little bit of my milk that I'm coming to use to blend. This is my flour. I'll go ahead and sieve my cocoa powder. This one is without sugar and milk, just the poor one, okay? So I will sieve everything nicely to my flour, just as you are seeing. Yeah. And then here I have sugar, nutmeg, salt, and also cinnamon, okay? Because of the banana, I'm not using too much of sugar. Go ahead and double yours. This is my vanilla sugar. I added also to it. And then I'll go ahead and mix everything together. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and list all the ingredients in the description box for you to check it out. So here after mixing everything, I also added now my dry yeast. I'll go ahead and mix it together okay added now my butter just a little bit because we are going to fry with a clean hand i'll just rub it inside the flour so simple and very easy and now i'll just go ahead and pour my blended banana with the milk to my mixture and then i'll go in with my hand and mix everything together yes so so simple and very very easy thank you guys for stopping by i really appreciate you all and your time I'll now just add my egg and then also mix together. Also rinse my blender with milk and then add everything to my mixture. And then I will, with my hand, I'll just go ahead and mix it together nicely just to avoid any lumps. Okay, we want the texture to be very smooth. So yeah, this is how it's looking like after mixing everything together. Okay, this is perfect consistent that we are going for. So now I'll just... Uh, Cover it and set it aside until it double its size. Yeah, so this is the dough. I will set it somewhere else, okay? So yeah, after it double its size, I will just go ahead and add oil to my pan or whatever that I'm going to use to fry. And this is the dough when I got it, okay? It has double its size nicely. And this is what we are talking about, yeah. So now it's ready to fry. With a clean hand, I'll now just mix everything together just like this, okay, to release the air out. After it has double its size, it has a lot of air inside and this is what we want to release. Yeah, so with my palm, I'll just scoop a little bit like this and then you scoop it. There are so many ways to scoop your dough to fry, okay, you can even use your spoon or your scoop, ice cream scooper, whatever you want to use and then, yeah. So you keep on turning you don't want your dough to burn okay and also you have to check the temperature of your heat it doesn't have to be very very uh, hot okay otherwise it's going to burn while the inside is not cooked so it has to be a moderate heat also you don't have to fry it on a very low heat otherwise it's going to absorb a lot of oil and that's not what we want okay so you keep on turning it until everything is nicely fried and you can see our pop puff is doing perfectly well okay so as i said you keep on just turning 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 until you fry them evenly okay so now it's good i'll just take them out and into a kitchen paper or a kitchen napkin to absorb the excess oil okay and it's ready to be served just enjoy with whatever you want to enjoy with these are the rest okay so you keep on frying until all the dough is fried thank you guys for watching i appreciate you all and your time if it is your first time coming across this channel you are so so welcome if you haven't done subscribe please go ahead and subscribe like share for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back so yeah here i present to you our choco banana puff puff okay hope you are going to give it a try thank you so much for watching we all know banana and chocolate they go very well together and this puff puff was really tasty tastes amazing and the uh, inside look at it so so beautiful very fluffy and soft and nicely 
hope you guys will give it a try so i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and try the recipe out till then ciao bye